Hello. I did a video not too long ago about the silver pothos that we're going to show you right here. I called the video the money plant. And it's supposed to bring you good luck and fortune and all of that. Some people honestly believe that. So, um, it, and it has brought good fortune to some people, or at least they think so. So, by we need to trim it though. Look at all these trails. So, I'm going to just follow up with trimming this. And then we're going to take the starts and we are going to put them in mason jars with water. And see if we can start new money plants. And hopefully we'll have more luck just like some of the others that have been recorded. So here we go. I'm going to cut it to where it's pretty much even to the bottom. I know it seems drastic. Maybe a little bit more. But... What we do is we have a leaf and we have an eye right there. Hope you can see. Maybe you can see these better. A leaf and an eye right there. You want to make sure that you cut it either above or below that because you don't want to hurt the plant. And these eyes right here, that is what's going to make new plants. So here we go. I think we'll cut this right here. Right here. I don't know if I want to cut it that much. How about right there? There's our first cutting. Let's see if we can do it real quick here. And we'll cut it right here. Put all these over here. Just go around the table. There. There. Let's turn it. Oh, this one's really long. Let's see here. Let's cut it right there. See how long and leggy it gets, so that's why you need to cut them because they just get to where they're so long stemmed and very in smaller leaves. So the plant actually needs to be cut here and there. Trim down, just give it a haircut. There, look at all these. You know, we're going to get some cuttings, put them in a jar, hopefully get some new silver pothos money plant new plants. This one's really not very good looking there. Here's one that's really long. How about right, whoops, right there. And it seems drastic. It does seem drastic that we're cutting so much, but needs to be. I think I'll cut that one right back this long. Okay, keep going. Um, that one's not too bad. We'll just cut that off there. And we're almost done, I think. Uh, yeah, this one a little bit more. There. All right. Now you have a plant that's just not so leggy and long. And look at over here. So we need we need to we might plant some of those starts right in the soil. I think I'll plant one right in here to maybe trail out something there. So there we go. And now we have all these cuttings. Now I have put using mason jars and put some pebbles in the back of it. Hold on. Uh, and I'm going to, just needed to make sure my camera was okay. I'm going to pour some water in here. Oh, it looks like that's broken. Wow. It likes, it's going to like warm water. And when you store these, store them in the kitchen above the, I don't know, the dishwasher. It really likes it warm. They will root a lot faster if you do it in warm water. 
So I'm going to fill these up. I put some rocks in the bottom just to see if we can't uh, hold the moisture a little better. But, and you change this water every couple days or so. It doesn't have to be every day. Okay, here's one of these leaves. What we're going to do is make sure that we have an eye and a leaf. So let's see here. An eye and a leaf. This in between stuff you do not need. Cut it away. An eye and a leaf. Let's see how much of this we actually get. Cut up some of those. We'll see. We've already gotten some of these. Some of this, the end one, by the way, I don't think is very good. It doesn't propagate very good. So like this end, we probably won't use it, even though it looks like we should. We probably will not. I think we'll use this one instead. Get rid of that. There we go. I think we'll let this one go to the trash. I'm going to let this one go because it's the end of it. This one is too weak. Very small and leggy. I'm going to let that go. So we are going to fix our pot. We're going to leave some kind of long. We're going to fix our pot so that we dump some of this water out, actually, so that it's holding in there pretty good. And uh, I'll come back after the finished product. Alright, I'm back. I've kind of done some for you. I decided to put them in a smaller container than this just because I don't want them falling way down. So I'm using this and this. And uh, this one's a little bit taller but not by much. So I'm using all of that. Um, I've almost got it all done. A lot of them I have thrown away. Like some of them I have, like all these, have been thrown away. Uh, I just feel like they're probably not good enough to do. Now some of these, in fact I think it was this one, I wanted to put right in the dirt to see if it will take. And I'm going to, I put a finger clear down there. I'm just hoping it will propagate good in there. We'll see. That one is, has been really pushed down and covered. That's that one right there. And we could try another one too to see how it does. Just to make this plant even thicker. Especially on this side. Right here. So we did that also. Just put another one in here. And we'll see how it does. Remember, keep these in a warm place. That's how they root. And change your water every couple days, perhaps. I'm using the rocks, but you can use a little container that fits inside the jars or however you want to do it. Just be creative. Uh, this is Lost Garden Standing. I hope you enjoyed this video. We want to take good care of our money plant because if it really brings you good luck and money, more finances to your home, we certainly want more plants. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.